So sometimes in life, we do shitty things. We do. We all do. Every single one of us. None of us are immune to that. Um, sometimes bad things happen to us. And we get knocked down. And a famous, a famous musician from back in the day, Elvis Presley, uh, his brother, said, If you get back down, you got to get back up again. I'm never going to let you down. That was Elvis Presley's brother, Tim. Tim Presley. He said that. That's a real thing. You can look it up on Google. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Um, we all do stupid things. And the reason why we do stupid things is because we're human. When we fall down, we do get up. Every day we try to improve each other. Every single day. Um, you have people in your background. They'll watch you. They'll cheer you on. Did you have people say, hey, fall into a fire? Like literally fall into a house fire. You don't want to do that. It's terrible. I'm going to tell you now. I've done some shitty things in my past. I've failed a lot. I'm still failing today. Doing a whole lot better. I'm married, have a job, have a car, have a home. I'm on this really nice fucking expensive computer that I built for gaming that I don't really play games on. But we're here to talk about Boogie298 again because Boogie likes to do things and he doesn't learn and he turns himself into the victim. This is classic Boogie. Now, like I said, you guys probably know that I was heavily influenced by Boogie 298 for a long time. I have people that I can tell you. It was actually pretty sad. Pretty sad. I actually loved everything he did. It was like my favorite content creator. I looked up to the guy. He was some fat dude that was depressed, had mental health issues, had a shitty life, went from nothing, became something. Now he's nothing again, uh, except for a little cow. And I don't know if that's better than nothing, um, but he sure does embrace it. Um... It's sad. It's sad. It's sad to look at your heroes that you once were influenced by. And you see them. You're like, I am inspired by this guy to push in life because if he can do it, I can do it. But just like life itself, it throws, throws wild cards. In Boogie's case, he's got the whole fucking deck of wild cards. And that sucks. <laughs> They're not even good cards. These are like the Joker cards. A fucking box full of Joker cards. That's all he got. And that's not... I mean, that's fucking wild. Like, could you imagine getting a deck of cards and they're just Joker cards? That's wild. And it's sad. It's really sad. I've talked about Boogie a few times on this channel from some shitty things he's done. We talked about his documentary that he put out. Um, but I think when that documentary was out, he thought it was going to do something different. And... Um, they had people was able to see how shitty of a person he was, all the struggles he's had, but it actually turned and made him look even worse than he actually is now. Like I said, he used to be the Mr. Rogers of the internet. A lot of people will tell you back in the day, old school YouTube, he was out there, he was doing nice things, he was nice, he got married, he was on the VGAs, I think he was even in a fucking Super Bowl commercial, wasn't he? Pretty sure he was. Um, yeah. Even the Chocolate Rain guy was on there. You guys don't know what Chocolate Rain is. You need to look that shit up. That is internet history. That is famous. That song is better than uh, <sighs> Stairway to Heaven. No, it's not. That's a fucking lie. Don't, don't listen to what I have to say about that. But Boogie keeps on doing really shitty things. And when Boogie does shitty things, people call him out. When people call him out, Boogie posts an apology. And turns it into him being the victim. And that's narcissism. That's how narcissism works. You do shitty things. People call you out. You apologize. You turn yourself into the victim. And you go back and do the same fucking shit. Now, Boogie did the thing with the crypto boys. He uh, got sponsored for a coin. It was like a, what was it, fatty? He got called out by a lot of people. A um, couple... Uh, notable ones for sure. I think Keemstar even said something about it, but I don't know if Keemstar actually had any, like, anything to do with it. I don't know if he did. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers, he called him out. I like Mudahar. Mudahar's awesome. Like, he calls people out, and I like that. Like, he he does. He does. Um, Coffeezilla, he calls out a lot of people to these uh, crypto scams. Remember Logan Paul? That piece of shit that did Dink Doink? He's rich. He's a piece of shit. That sucks. That sucks. I work a 9 to 5 and that guy gets to go to Japan and see some dude hanging from a tree and makes a video about it and does some fucking crazy 
stupid ass apology video and people all forgot about it. But the Boogie does this thing where he says, I wonder why people don't like me. And when he apologizes, he basically says, hey, I'm going to change the guys. It's like an abusive, uh, abusive dad. Like, I'm going to change or an abusive uh, boyfriend or <laughs> boyfriend, boy, boyfriend. But that's going to be on YouTube fells. Um, it's like an ab abusive partner. Like, says, I'm going to change, but never does. But let's talk, let's show some here. So this is his shitty apology that he came out with. And I'll read some of it. Um, I'll start out, I'll use the boogie voice. Um, right, so, wrong rule on your rule. Sorry, I couldn't. I was choked. I was choked. I, I was choked there. In the last few days, I have learned a lot about the internet, myself, and crypto. Motherfucker, you've been on the internet for 20 years. You should know the internet. You should have a PhD in the fucking internet. If you're just learning this shit, you need to get off the internet. Stop living on the internet. My intent by launching a meme coin was to make people laugh and happy. I also wanted to give millionaires who like meme coins a new toy to play with. I wanted to create a community among those people to interact with as I have through the local live community. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing. To say I missed a mark is an understatement for sure. But some of the people that are angry are angry for some weird reasons. This never targeted fans. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it didn't target fans. It's very, very important for you to know. If you're an influencer, your job is to influence people. You have people that was influenced by you to do shitty things. They think it's okay. This is how everything works. If you have a hero, you want to aspire to be them. I'm going to say I built my channel because I was inspired by you a long time ago. But to say this wasn't targeted to fans is completely oblivious. You're oblivious. Like, you're not seeing this. If you're an influencer, you shouldn't do this because people's going to fucking do it. In the 90 seconds this was available on the website, a casual fan could not have created a Coinbase account. Get verified, figure out how to buy Solana, which is the chore itself, to then purchase a meme coin. It is literally impossible. That process takes hours, sometimes days. This targeted my fans only to have them point and laugh at the absurdity of the character, the video, and the idea that anyone would trust me for crypto advice, which we shouldn't. We know your history with crypto. But again, you're missing the whole point. You are an influencer. Your job is to influence. And when you influence people, people are getting influenced, do influence, influence, influence. People do shit because they see you do it. And you're making fun of it, trying to be Andrew Tate, the famous homosexual Andrew Tate. People laugh and they're going to fucking buy it just for the memes. They just are. I did, however, wanted to target crypto bros who play with meme coins all day, every day. Looking at the wallets that, uh, that bought and sold this coin, it's clear that it was the only people who pay, paid or played, I can't read, with this coin. Many of them holding tens of millions of Ethereum and Bitcoin. They wouldn't miss the tens of dollars they have lost, but many more made money than it lost. This disappears. Again, I can't read. Out of breath. Doesn't matter. That shit doesn't matter. You that doesn't matter. People still bought it. It was a shitty coin. Shitty thing. Shitty you can't cover it up. Can't cover it up by this shitty apology. Regardless, I still believe those same crypto guys might find value in this coin and community. And I hope they do. For those holding, I plan to keep chatting with you guys and chilling with you as long as you think it's fun. To the rest of the internet, I am not sorry for getting involved in the dumb shit meme coin. I eject the idea it was ever scamming fans and that, that simply did not happen, period. Look at the wallets and proof, you'll see proof of that. I still think a meme coin can be funny and amusing distraction for people who have far more money than they know what to do with. And I hope we can continue to fuck around with this dumbass coin. No, you should fucking drop that fucking coin. 
That's not an apology. That's about the same kind of an apology that Dr. Disrespect gave the other day when he t- said he talked to kids. That's not an apology. That's an excuse. That's turning yourself into the victim. Oh, God, I didn't know anybody was going to buy my fucking coin. I'm an influencer. I'm an influencer. People were going to buy it. You can't say a fan didn't do it. Some people already have Coinbase or coin wallets. I do. I didn't buy it because I'm not fucking dumb. But there are some people that probably follow you that does it. It's not just the crypto bros. They might be some of them that do. You might look at the statistics and you see Johnny McGee with 10 billion Ethereum and, you know, 30 billion fatty coins. That's not worth shit. It's not. It's, it's worth worthless. Worthless. The fact is, you did this, and it's a shitty thing to do. A lot of people that have done this, this has been a shitty thing for them to do it, too. And you didn't learn about it. You didn't think in 2024, by putting something like this out, was it going to make you look bad? And I know you was trying to make fun. You was trying to be Andrew Tate, which nobody wants to be Andrew Tate. And you're trying to make fun of him ironically when he's a shitty person and you're a shitty person. You can't put two shits together and make it good. You just can't do it. You might be able to make a shit snowman, like a shit man snowman, like a big old shitty boy. But you're not going to... This is bad. This looks bad. This is not a fucking apology at all. Let's let's kind of look a little bit further into this. So there was some more stuff here. So we'll go back a little bit right here. So you know the com- the commentary community making videos and how you're basically YouTube Hitler loses a sting about five or six years into it. I do hope their audience gets tired of it eventually. No, YouTube is built for this. That's YouTube. You've done it for years. There's tons of instances of you doing the same fucking thing. Just because people are making fun of you, calling you out, you get on here and make a statement, that still makes you look like a fucking hypocrite because you are, because you did the same shit. You still do the same shit. Shit, you got on low cow like blasting RTU. What's any different them doing that then you, you're not fucking special. You're the dude who's not getting a fucking job. Get a fucking job. Anyways. I learned years ago that if I fart in public, Mudahar will make a video saying I gave people cancer. I'm pretty much free to do whatever I want because when I try to do something, nice people say I ate a baby or something. No, Mudahar was actually in the right here. Catzilla any of your fans, anybody that got on your channel and they say, hey, this is shitty. You should not do this. Why are you doing this? This is bad. This is obviously a bad, terrible thing. You should not do that. Mudar had the right to say it. You know, he might have kind of went overboard with the whole, I hope the cancer wins. But again, I can't stop him from saying that. That's something he said. That's how he feels. I'm not going to discount him for it, but that's how he feels. And you would figure somebody... That has, well, I mean, not anymore. I mean, your channel still says you have four some million people, you know, sub, but you're probably getting, what, 20,000, 30,000, maybe less than that. And I know my channel is very small. I've been on here for 10 years. I have not made a dent in YouTube. I'm a failure. But this is bad, dude. This is bad. You wanted to fix your life. You wanted to be respected again. You wanted to walk away from your past, but now you're embracing it. You're becoming the one thing that a lot of us didn't think you was going to be. And some of us found out just through the documentary. I've been watching it for years, so I've seen your downfall. But you had an opportunity to turn things around for yourself. Do something good. Pick yourself up. Same with Ritz from you, Tech USA. You guys think you lost... When there's always a chance to do better, you still have people that like you, believe it or not. But don't get mad if those people that care for you or is influenced by you calls you out from doing shitty things. Me, you know, I still like you sometimes. I hate that you do terrible things. I hate who you become as a human. It's terrible. Like the video where you was getting on your knees, apologizing apologizing to Keemstar because you said stupid things. And this is nothing against Keem. I actually like Keem. 
Uh, I think Keem's kind of cool. Um, he does shitty things too, but I like Keem. I know that's going to be like terrible thing for people to hear, but I do like Keem. I think he's pretty funny. Um, I've I've seen Keem for years, like when Keem was doing the Halo shit back in the day when he was saying the N word. <laughs> Don't say that again. Um, but dude, you gotta realize that people people do like you people don't like to see people fall i mean there are some people who wants to see you fall into a house fire get ran over by i don't know a fucking bulldozer for some odd reason the boeing uh fucking space shuttle just crash into your house go up your asshole people do want that uh, i hope that doesn't happen because you're going to have to have a lot of butter for that thing to fit up your ass um but dude i mean don't try to make yourself a victim if you do something shitty own up to it. Don't double down and don't blame your audience for calling you out and don't blame the people that actually care. Now, like Mudahar, he doesn't like you. He's protecting other people from falling for shit like that. So it was Cat Ka- Kafizilla. Ka- Ka- I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I like I'm, I follow you. I'm watching you. I just hate where you've gone. You've given up on yourself. When you could easily turn it around. And there's still a chance you could turn it around. But if you keep on doing stuff like this, it's never going to happen. And that's sad. It's sad. It's sad to see somebody I've followed for many years give up on themselves. It's fucking terrible, man. Do better.